So where where will you go now? We are in the street. And our family is also in the street. <laughs> As Operation Protective Edge continues, dozens of Israeli troops and over a thousand Palestinians have been killed. Both sides are burying their dead as the conflict shows no signs of letting up. Over 100,000 residents have been displaced as the heavy bombardment of the Gaza Strip intensifies, and militant groups show no signs of letting up with rocket fire and attempts to infiltrate Israel through underground tunnels. Rescue workers and hospitals have become overwhelmed, struggling to deal with the scale of the crisis as it unfolds. This right here is Salam Tower, it was hit last night. The whole building collapsed, uh, at least 20 are dead, and they're still trying to pull bodies out right now. All across Gaza, there are scenes of people desperately sifting through rubble to save whatever they can. Can you tell us what, what happened here? We was all seven people here, uh, we was sleeping. Yeah. At five o'clock we heard a crowd in the street. Some people were screaming at us to get out from our house. Here, maybe 200 persons, all of them seven. Because every department was maybe three or five families. You yeah. know, they transferred yeah. from the other places which hit it also. So they got the phone call saying we're No, 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 there is no phone calls or no... Uh, any attention to us to get out. You're from Shijayi? Yeah, we so come here to, uh, with our, to our, yes, our friend's yeah. house. Yeah. Like refugee? Yeah, maybe half the people here is refugee also. Can you think, I mean, is there any reason you think the Israelis would have targeted this place? No, it's really no reason to no kill the civil people, really. Okay. Until this moment, we did not believe what happened for us. You know, its area was called, it's uh, the more safety zone in Gaza. And we full trust of that. Because of all of you, the world was seven. So where, where will you go now? We are in the street. And our family is also in the street. This scene is becoming really increasingly familiar to us at this point. Uh, destroyed buildings, people not sure of where they will go, uh, and people sniffing through rubble. We're in a Magazi camp, it's a refugee camp, uh, a little south of Gaza City, and it's a, it's a city of ghosts. Most people have left or are staying inside or have fled somewhere else. There was a lot of heavy fighting here last night. You can kind of drive through the streets and see the damage everywhere. But yeah, it has a look of an abandoned city. Behind me is the Al-Aqsa Hospital. Oh, shit. So, second take this time. Behind me is the Al-Aqsa Hospital. You can see it was hit here, here, and here. Patients had to be evacuated. Uh, the IDF has claimed that someone was firing out of here. Now. The hospital is still up and running. Um, I, it's not obviously at full capacity. It's still really tense here. We've just heard a shell that sounded extremely, extremely close. Um, but the people here, you know, they, they have no choice. They've got to keep this thing running. So over 40% of Gaza uh, has been told to evacuate by the Israeli forces. And people are fleeing, if they can, to anywhere they think is safe. One of the only places people think is safe is right here in Shifa Hospital. Now, we were here a few days ago. There were far less people here, and there were no shelters sort of set up. But people are, are here, and unfortunately, it looks like they're preparing to be here for a while. عودنا الحي كله تشجع يعني صاروا يكبروا يرفعوا رايات بيضة لنقدر نطلع الأطفال 
طلعناهم بعجوبة لحتى الآن مش قادرة أتخيل كيف كنا نجري في الإكزاز إحنا ما لناش إلا غير الله وإحنا الحمد لله مع مقاومينا ومع مجاهدينا وإحنا بنحيي القسام وبنحيي جنودنا اللي تحت الأرض واللي فوق الأرض وبنحيي الشعب كله والشعوب العربية اللي واقفة معانا ولكن بدع على الحكام العرب كل ليه على الحكام العرب بدع عليهم هم السبب هم اللي شجعوا إسرائيل يعملوا فينا هيك قاعدين بتفرجوا علينا Hospitals, UN buildings, schools, and even churches have become refuges for displaced people who have nowhere else to go. On what would be our last night in Gaza, we met with Fadi, a local paraplegic athlete living in the office building where we were based. He was now housing dozens of members of his family who fled the fierce fighting in Shijaiya. You know, your family is like sleeping in the hallway right now of this building. They have, they have, they have no beds. They have nowhere to go. My family come here to my home because uh, Israel plan from my uh, family home in east of Shijaya. About uh, 70 person come here to live uh, with me in small home. 80,000 person come a move from Shijaya east of Gaza to to west, but there is no home. Most of them uh, live in uh, Shifa Hospital. Most of them uh, uh, sleep in the street because there is no, no safety place for these people to go to live. Do you think there can ever be peace between Israelis and Palestinians? No, because Palestinian people need the peace, but Israeli people, no, don't need the peace. Islam and Quran say this is war uh, uh, the take a step by step to the last war between Arab and Israeli people because if I go to America and I take my, my, my country people to America and I left you out, kick you out your home, you say to me, bye, or, or, or you want to fight with me to take your home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to fight to take your home, to be free dumb. Can you, can you tell us how you, how you ended up in this wheelchair? It was in uh, 2001. When I'm in Shijaiya, Israeli uh, uh, soldier shot me in my back, and I have a fracture in my back, and uh, this is make me to me uh, disabilities, mm -hmm. yeah, and paraplegia. I cannot move my uh, down body. There is uh, uh, something inside the people here in Gaza. Mm -hmm. There is uh, uh, authority to, to, for people here in Gaza to continue. Look, there is now uh, Israeli bombs at home. But the life not finished, not stopped. There is a new life start. Palestinian people work. Mm -hmm. After my injury, I finished my uh, university. And also, in the same time, I'm uh, playing sport because this is my, 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 uh, my favorite sport. Start playing sport as a, uh, as a local here in Gaza. And after, I go outside to take my, my country flag in Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, uh, China, and I have uh, to go to London 2012. But there is a problem. You don't have permission to go outside Gaza. If you are dangerous or not dangerous for Israel, there is name. OK, you can go or you cannot go. Yeah, you need permission to go outside and Gaza. You, and you did not, they did not give you this permission in 2012 to go? No, I don't have this permission to go outside Gaza. So you're, you're trapped here? Yeah, I'm staying here in Gaza because no permission to go outside Gaza.